Boom. What's up, everyone? Mark Lobliner, TigerFitness.com. Cialis. Ooh. Cialis. When you think about Cialis, what do you think about? Keep your minds rated G. Maybe PG. But when I think about Cialis, I think about, well, I think about, uh, I think about a hard-on pill. That's what I think it is. That's what I think about. But I've known this for years. I've actually talked about it taking five grams a day for heart health. Why? Well, why they create Cialis? What does it do? It, it increases blood flow, right? And what does that mean? <laughs> Potentially better vascular health. That means a healthier heart. Data has caught up to Mark. Data has caught up. And let's go into this. In fact, I believe that Cialis was created as a heart health supplement. Then they found out people who took it got a, got a little side effect there. Now, Cialis does help in that department. I'm not mad at that. But taking it daily might, and again, talk to your doctor, might have an overall impact on your health, on how long you live. And that's what this study looked at. There are some downsides to this study um, in the way it was done, but how else are you going to do it? right? Like mortality studies, you basically have to go by asking people questions. Um, or you, I, I guess you can do a study, put people on it and not put people on it, take about 30 years, 40 years, and then see how many people have passed away. So regardless, let's go into this. So there are a growing number of studies right now. That's right. About Cialis and it being linked to lower mortality and better heart health. Sounds crazy, but let's go into the data. So these are observational studies, but it involves a large group. These are large studies, large group of men with impressive associations. In one analysis, men with erectile dysfunction, normally meaning you can't get it up. They took to Dalafil, which is Cialis, that is the, the name for it, right? Silas is the brand name. Linked to 44% lower overall mortality rate compared to men not using any PDE5 inhibitor. Another study, get this, 500,000 men found to Dalafil use correlated with reduced risk of death, heart attack, stroke, <laughs> not that kind of stroke, haha, <laughs> dad jokes, 45 years old this month. If I haven't earned the right with three children for dad jokes, what am I here for? Blood clots and dementia compared to non-users. So I look at it this way. If I'm looking at a stack for heart health, I'm taking Go BHB, I'm taking Clean Form Nutrition Pure Blood, and I'm taking Cialis. That's what I'm taking. Of course, talk to your doctor. And also dementia compared to non-users. Now, to keep in mind, dementia a lot of blood flow component going on there, right? And also, like, I mean, sex is healthy. So if you're having more sex, you got a little lead in your pencil, you're good to go. The, the long half-life of Tadalafil, this is 17 to 20 hours. That means you take it in the morning, you're good all day. You're good, meaning Viagra used to have to time it, right? And if you're married, you can't time it. Viagra, it's like, you know, you, you, got, you got to know when you're going to do it. Like Cialis, like when you're married, you wait for the kids to go out riding their bike or something. And then you're like, okay, let's get one in. Cialis is ready to go. Viagra, if you miss that window, you miss the window. And you're like, oh, I brought the house, man. I could have brought down the damn house. But now nah, you're just left with a normal wanker. Like it's just a normal penis. Nothing special about it. With Viagra and Cialis, it's super penis. So um, it allows for steadier blood levels and stronger cardiovascular effects than shorter acting PDE5s. That'd be like a Viagra. So the heart health comes from Cialis because it lasts so long. So daily use, 70 to 20 hours, you're going most of the day with the increased uh, cardiovascular health, so to speak. So how does it help? How does it help? Why did it work? PDE5 inhibition improves endothelial function, okay, vascular, your blood vessels, arteries, all that stuff, and nitric oxide signaling promotes better blood flow and vascular health. Enhanced circulation, again, you're circulating, may protect organs such as heart and brain from ischemic damage over time. 
and evidence suggests it has an anti-inflammatory and anti-remodeling effect on cardiovascular tissue. Indirect benefits could also play a role. I talked about this. So if you have erectile dysfunction, you're not going to have sex. And I speak for myself and probably everyone out there, sex is awesome. So if you're having sex, you're going to be happier. You're going to have a better quality of life. Sex is just great. There's a lot of benefits to sex too. And for me, it's hit cardio. 30 seconds on, 23, um, 23 hours, 59 minutes, and 30 seconds off. It's, it's kind of the Mike Menser approach to sex. It's been working for me this long. What? So what, what it doesn't do, you can't just take Cialis and, and not, not go, not, not pass away. You can't, you can't do it. It doesn't automatically make you live longer. The studies are observational, which means they show correlation and not causation. The participants are mostly men with erectile dysfunction or urinary symptoms. These are not the gen pop. But as we found a lot of times, studies in disease, I guess erectile dysfunction, it's a disease. I'd rather have a lot of diseases than erectile dysfunction. Like if there's one thing in life I want to keep, it's my penis and I want it to work. And because sex is awesome, like, right? Sex is freaking awesome. Sex is so awesome that like presidents of the United States got impeached over it. With Monica Lewinsky, like that's that's how awesome the penis is. Penis is his own man. It has his own brain. So the thing is, yeah, you're gonna you're gonna be in a better mood, and you're gonna have a better quality of life if your penis works. Is what it is. So there's no standard longevity dose, and there's no like controlled trial to confirm the dose. I've seen anywhere from five grams. Five milligrams, grams, ha, that'd be fun, to 20. Um, generally speaking, between that five and 20 range, again, not a doctor, just a guy with a penis and a heart, um, mostly heart, heart's way bigger. I have a very big heart and very loving man. Um, daily dosing, we just talked about this. So it's normally prescribed, and this is prescribed in some cases for heart issues, right? But- Sometimes by very edgy doctors. So it's normally prescribed between five milligrams daily or 10 to 20 milligrams. 20 milligrams is the, I don't want her to walk the next day dose. Five milligrams is the, I like her, but I, I don't want her to remember me kind of dose, right? Like that kind of thing. In studies linking to Dalafil to lower mortality, men who had higher total exposure, meaning they took it more consistently over time, they had better outcomes. So just taking Cialis on days you think you're going to get laid isn't enough. You got to take it every day based on what I'm reading here, based on what I'm reading here. So here's the deal. If you um, take nitrates or blood pressure medication, that is a, a interaction that you want to avoid. That's why you should talk to your doctor. And that's why I'm saying I'm not recommending you take it. I'm just reading the data. Reading the data, I might or might not partake in this festivity. Look, man, I'm all about heart health, man. I don't care what the indication of a drug is. If it's going to help me live longer and better, I'm going to take it, period. I'm not, I'm not taking drug tests like TRT. TRT is cheating. Yeah, but I'm, it, it, it has, for a man of my age with lower testosterone, it's going to make me healthier. It's going to make me perform better, feel better, think better, act better, look better. Why wouldn't I take testosterone? Why? I mean, kids, you're not natty. Take your natty and shove it up your natty ass. I don't care. I just want to live an epic life. I'm not competing in any tested organizations. I'm not even competing. The fact that I run circles around people in business and you want to say it's because I'm on steroids? All right. Well, then every pro bodybuilder should be a multi-billionaire CEO. So here's the deal. Here's the deal. If you're a middle-aged male with cardiovascular risk factors, well, you might want to talk to your doctor about prescribing Cialis. And you might want to talk to your doctor about maybe checking your testosterone, getting your estrogen checked, get your hormones in line. Um, I have a great doctor for that. His name is Dr. Kurt. There's other doctors there. Hormone Health and Wellness. I'll link it down below. That's where I have my TRT. I have my shit so dialed in. Like I, so I do have aches and pains. I've been through a lot. I've done a lot. I've done a lot of athletic stuff. Look, man, I have aches and pains. I'm not going to act like it's all, you know, um, unicorns and rainbows in my world. 
but I feel better now than I ever, ever, ever felt in my life. And a lot of that's due to hormone health and wellness. They got me dialed in 150 uh, milligrams of testosterone a week. I'm on two IUs of HGH um, five days a week. And uh, I'm crushing it. I love it. I'm feeling amazing. And the thing is, I started at 200 milligrams of test a week and it had my testosterone a little too high. Yes, it is possible. I can't say I felt bad. I didn't feel right. Does that make sense? I just didn't feel right. 150, man, I feel amazing. Every day I wake up feeling amazing. I just do. A lot of it's still, again, if you're looking for a good clinic, link it down below. Okay. So another thing is, if you have a broader strategy, right? Like, don't just think you're going to inject testosterone and, and, and take Cialis and all of a sudden, like, you're healthy. No, no, no. It's got to be a broad strategy, right? To improve your vascular function, exercise, nutrition, something I lack in, sleep. Um, those are very important. And I travel all the time. The one thing I do is I keep my circadian rhythm pretty on point. Sundays, I'll let it go a little bit. But when I'm traveling, no matter what time zone, no matter what time I go to bed, I get up at 5 a.m. and go to the gym. I'm at the gym. Well, I, I get to the gym between 5 and 5.30. If I went to bed at like 1 because I had a late meeting or a late flight, I'm going to sleep in a little to like 5. But like generally speaking, I'm at the gym between like 5 and 5.30. That's when I start. So if you're younger, healthy individuals and you do not have erectile issues, sorry to say this, guys. Evidence is still too weak to justify daily use for longevity. Now, if you're young, focus on training, nutrition, stress control. Uh, unless you just want to really bring it home, like you're going on a first date, you know she's, she's with it. Like, let's say you've been dating online, you swipe, swiped right on Tinder. Okay, again, talk to your doctor about that. But generally speaking, uh, probably don't want to do it daily. I don't see, personally, I'm not a doctor. I don't see an issue with it. But like, eh, let your penis do the job on its own, right? Like, let's, let's give your penis a few years to do its thing. And when you get older and you face more of a morbidity risk from heart issues, maybe it's congenital, it runs in your family, all right, then consider it. But again, doctor, talk to your doctor. Uh, but think of it this way. It's a potential tool in a bigger picture, optimizing circulation, hormone balance, and long-term vitality. That's why, you know, I look at my heart as the most important thing. You know, you look at ambrosia nectar, been taking that daily since 2015. Um, EKGs, all that stuff. Mine are all on point. Um, since Clean Form Nutrition came out with Pure Blood, that's been amazing, has you know, has the full dosing of natokinase, citrus bergamot, vitamin K2. Can't beat that. Go BHB with its heart benefits, potential heart benefits. Actually, there's a great study coming out on the heart benefits of Go BHB. And, and I do cardio. Like I do um, Tabata HIIT training about four days a week, usually post-workout because I don't have time to do it later in the evening. It's wrestling season for my kids. And I do, I go on a walk every evening I can, you know, normally about, 20 to 30 minutes in the morning. I'll usually warm up before my workout. Cause I just woke up with 10 minutes on the treadmill, but it's part of the big picture. But again, like we used to think about Cialis, like, okay, this is a boner pill. It's a, boner pill, that's all it is come to find out the body doesn't work like that. You can't compartmentalize what something does like antibiotics are great. They save a lot of lives. At the end of the day, you are completely destroying your gut microbiome. So there's an issue with that. It's not always good. It's not always bad. With Cialis, yeah, it's a systemic thing, a PDE5 inhibitor. It does do that. But what does it do alongside that? How does it work? It works by increasing blood flow. It works by, you know, re relaxing that endothelial. It's, it's a really, really fascinating drug. Anyway, guys, hopefully you liked that video. Um, I mentioned this before, Pure Blood by Clean Form Nutrition. Go BHB, both MTS Nutrition and Clean Form Nutrition have it on the site. Coupon code MAHA, M-A-H-A, MAHA. Gets you 10% off the entire site, including those products. And this awesome Tiger University of Fitness hat is available there. You might want to go get you one. And uh, that's pretty much that. So anyway, like this video, subscribe to the channel, click the notification bell. If you like what we do here, go to tigerfitness.com, support us, buy your GoBHB, you know, we appreciate it. And um, if you get the Cialis for your heart, just tell your wife I said hi. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'm Mark Lobliner.
Because having a well-functioning penis and a well-functioning heart too, that's not a game.